Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're doing a Swiss Cube. I think this is going to be the last uh, Swiss Cube for this cube uh, format because uh, it goes away tomorrow. So I've actually lost three drafts in a row, one, two, hor in a horrible fashion, a horrific, embarrassing fashion, especially the last one. Um, I actually didn't even post the last one. I just got done recording one. And uh, I got stomped round one, stomped round two, and then a buy round three. And it was just so embarrassing, I don't even want to post it. Really, it was that bad. Like, it was really bad. I loved my deck, too. So I, I'm starting to get really demoralized, but I don't know what to say. I, I want to put up a draft where I go 2-1. If I don't this time around, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to post it anyway, but I don't really care anymore, I guess. But that last draft was was too embarrassing to post. It was just, just I, had, I was playing, like, a combo like, I guess I, I figured this, this format is all, like, two-card combos go to town. Um, but, man, did I just get my face kicked in, that last one. And I loved the deck, too. Our deck, my deck was, like, super strong. I'm going to take this Recurring Nightmare. It combos well with stuff. It's a powerful card. Sorry, I talked my way through that whole thing. Crater Hoof BMS. That's a pretty good one to recur back in. Uh, what else is good in this pack? Uh, Trinket Mage, if I got a Black Lotus or a Mox. Yeah, that'd be good. It's also a good thing to ditch away, I guess. Yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, probably Crater Hoof works the best with the Recurring Nightmare, I guess. Also works well with the Natural Order, if I can find that. Hmm. Yeah, there's probably enough powerful upside stuff with Crater Hoof Behemoth to take it here. Definitely works well with the Recurring Nightmare. All right. I'm on board. Okay. Noble ramps. So does Mox. Noble does it without doing card disadvantage, but Mox is also... Strip Mine. I may want the Strip Mine uh, because if I find Crucible, then I get a two-card combo. Basically, I'm just looking for... Powerful two-card combos, if you couldn't guess already. But Strip Mine in general is a ridiculous card, so I guess I'll take it. Uh, you can also go to town with Strip Mine and Life from the Loam. Yet another way to do nasty things to your opponent. All right, Eternal Witness. I guess that brings back Strip Mine. It's also good sack fodder to Recurring Nightmare. That's not bad. Mishra's Workshop, good if you have a lot of... Artifacts, which we don't currently. Could just take the E-Witness. Like I said, good with Recurring Nightmare as Sack Fodder. That nets you something back, potentially a Strip Mine. I could see that being good. Um, Plow Under, good with the Strip Mine plan. Underground C. Would let me do some blue while still playing Recurring Nightmare. And it's good with fetches. Vinge Vine. Uh, it's good. Sack fodder because you can get it back. But I don't know if I'm on board with that one. Shackles. But we haven't taken any blue yet. I could. I guess I could. Plow Under is pretty good. But you need like ramp to really capitalize on Plow Under, I think. I'm going to take the Underground C just on a hunch that maybe we can make blue work somehow in here. All right, well, Eureka's good with fatties. Gta is good equipment. Uh, Looter is good with the Nightmare because you can ditch fatties and then bring them back. Got my Elder is very good with Nightmare. Gives you card advantage. Pulse is kind of a catch-all. Not a terribly exciting one. Could just take the Gta. Not really giving up too much. Could do Mystical Tutor. This works well if you're looking for your combo pieces. I'm trying to make that come together. Yeah, it's early enough to take a GTA, I guess. Uh, Sakura Tri Builder, good sack fodder. It also fixes Primal Command, fine stuff for you. It's pretty versatile. I like Ancient Grudge. It's good removal, excellent removal in this format. I think we'll take the Tribe Elder ramps. Could also take the port if I wanted to do some sort of land hate thing, but I think I'm going to do Elder. Uh, Isochron Scepter currently doesn't do anything. 
Paula Kranos, <clears throat> excuse me, is not a bad card. Guess we'll take him. He can be useful. Elves of Deep Shadows actually fixes for us too, so it's not too bad. People talk about how main deckable Pithing Needle is. I think that's fine. It's just I'm not really into it that much. It's a little bit too, I don't know, reactive in a weird way, in a not-so-good way. Uh, dismembers can be useful. Sculler, I mean, maybe, not really. Guess we take dismember. Hmm. So, what's our game plan? Currently, our game plans look for good recurring nightmare stuff. Go off on that. So, I'd like to end my losing streak this draft. I'm really hoping I can end on a good note, just for my own uh, pride, I guess. I have a lot of pride with this game, which is why I always get so mad. Pattern of Rebirth... Excellent with Recurring Nightmare. I should have actually probably taken that the first time around. That's actually insane. Put that on like a Elves. Sack it to Recurring Nightmare. Res a Crater Hoof. Bring back Apollo Kranos. It's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, Burning of Zinyei. Not so good uh, for us with the ramp dudes, but certainly good against us. Probably just take the follower just in case, I don't know, we get a time vault. Could be useful. Vengevine. Yeah, I mean, this looks like it could be a Vengevine deck, potentially. Why not? Yeah, my Elder, certainly good. Primal Command, last pick, very nice. Primal Command is just playable. All right, well. Seems okay. Actually, Pattern of Rebirth on a Yavimai Elder is kind of nice, too. Sack it, draw a card, find a really powerful dude. This could work out for us. So, just need a couple more fatties, maybe, and then like a natural order, perhaps. Could work. Uh, Dark Confidant always seems dangerous. Yawgmoth's Will, good for Storm... Everything else is pretty fair. Could take the Solemn. Yeah, I don't really see anything else super appealing. Gilded Lotus. It's good. Uh, it's a nice mana rock. I think we'll take Solemn. It's excellent with Recurring Nightmare. Pretty cool with Pattern, too. I mean, there is a unburial rights for res, but we don't actually have that many fatties right now. I guess we'll take a solemn. All right, shoulder is a pretty good one. I love the oracle too, but I actually like the idea of shoulder it with recurring nightmare, or getting it off a pattern. It's a pretty nice, dude. Oracle's good too, undeniably, but. I think I'd rather have Shieldred. You can ramp into it. It's pretty strong. Here's a Deranged Hermit. That's going to combo well with Crater Hoof Behemoth. It's also Garrick Relentless. Hero Blade holds a good card, but not when you're not in white. Yeah, we'll take the Hermit. It's a pretty good one. Gives you stuff to sack to Recurring Nightmare. Fauna Shaman's going to be excellent with uh, Recurring Nightmare. And just in general, Fauna Shaman's a good spell. I like Muldrifter a lot. Worn Power Stone is good ramp. But let's take the Shaman. The old Shaman Vengevine deck. That was popular for a while in Standard. So we still have uh, potential for Time Vault combo. Uh, any other combos we have half of? I don't think so. 
All right, Primus is a big dude. I kind of like him. I like the Arbor Elf too, but Primus is pretty insane. If we were to find a sneak attack or something, you can do some nasty stuff with Woodfall Primus. And uh, sneak attack would just be good in general because we've already got a couple. I guess these guys aren't. Well, Crater of Beam, that's a good one, but Shieldred's not the best with with uh, sneak attack. But everything else seems fine. We're still looking too fair. Oh, we need some more unfair cards in here. But I think Woodfall's fine. It is good to have. It's nice to find off of a pattern or a primal command or sack it with a recurring nightmare. You get it back. Yeah, that's actually pretty nasty. We'll take Woodfall. I want that natural order, like you wouldn't believe. I think we're taking our fellows here. It's a little bit too rampy to pass up. Passing a world wake, Nissa world waker, which is good, but we're fellows, good old fellows. So I wouldn't mind a little bit of card draw, maybe too. But as it stands, we look okay. We look like a deck that does nasty things. Here's a life from the loam. So we're gonna do this with strip mine, and then we get to. Actually, Life from the Loam is just good with Recurring Nightmare, too. Yeah, Life from the Loam is excellent in this deck. Goes infinite with Strip Mine, and dredges our graveyard full of fatties to either res back with Shieldred or Recurring Nightmare. Yeah, that seems correct to me. Okay, Acidic Slime is a really nice catch-all to have, especially in this format. Uh, it's also nice to sack away to Recurring Nightmare. There's also Search for Tomorrow, though, which both ramps and fixes us, but it doesn't synergize as well in our deck. And actually, just having a Rafelos in a... We're, you know, we're like almost... We're borderline mono-green right now. So playing Acidic Slime off of... Uh, you know, on turn three after Rafelos could just be nasty. So I'm going to take the versatile Acidic Slime. Just gonna set strip mine in the side. I'm certainly playing it. I just want a better accurate count of uh, where we're at with our deck. Hmm. Nothing seems super useful for us here. Could take the unburial rights. Eh, I guess that actually is playable here. And we can potentially get the white mana off of, uh, I guess, a Tribell or a Solemn, but I don't know if that's happening. We're probably not playing Follower either unless we get a Time Vault, so I might as well sideboard that for now. Uh, otherwise, I'm passing good cards for other archetypes, but I'd rather take something that we could potentially use. I think Oracle will die is what we want. Could take the Cross and Grip. Cross and Grip is certainly good. In this format. Nothing else to say really. It's just good. Turns off Time Vaults. Certainly a main deckable card. Oracle it's tough to deny though. Because ramps well. I guess I have to take Oracle. It's a little bit too good. Could take the Garrick. It's actual green removal. Which isn't bad. Otherwise I can take Inquisition. Which is good disruption against some decks. But it's probably a better sideboard card. I guess I can just take Garrick because, like I said, it fights and then starts spitting wolves out. It also lets you find creatures, doesn't it? Yeah, on the back. All right, well, wait, did I get it? Okay, I did. It took too long. Uh, Temple Garden turns on our Umburial Rites flashback, so it seems correct. I'm not really giving up anything. Taiga... Don't really need it, but then again, I don't need this other stuff. I might just want to hate a Fire Blast, but I'm actually going to take the Taiga in case there's a red spell I want to take. All right, let's just hate the Goblin Guide here because I'm not going to play Shardless Agent. And last pick, Edric, is very surprising since that card's just really good. But that being said, I don't know if I'm going to play it unless we get a Time Vault once again. All right, Crucible. I think we got to first pick that because we got the Strip Mine, so then we'll have two ways to go off. With strip mine, so then I'm on the hunt for like demonic tutor and uh, imperial seal. Tooth and nail is also good. Tooth and nail is actually insane if you get nine mana and find deranged hermit and crater hoof behemoth. That is pretty filthy. 
But yeah, we got to slam this Crucible. I'm not going to bank on tabling it when we totally can play it in this deck. So now we actually just need maybe some more ramp spells. What's the weakest card in my deck that I could probably ditch? I still like the Unburial Rites, believe it or not. Maybe the weakest card is uh, Vengevine, even though it, even though Vengevine's you know cool with Fauna Shaman and all. I like it less than Polycranos because it's less versatile. I and mean, we're not really a beatdown deck. We're more of a just get an insanely powerful thing out and win with it. But yeah, Crucible is very good. So now fetch lands get a little bit better too. Uh, let's see here. Thrag Tusk with Recurring Nightmare is pretty insane. I like Anime Dead too, but I think I like the, the Thrag Tusk more. It's tough to deny Thrag Tusk with Recurring Nightmare. It's just really good. So what do we cut for it? I don't know. We could probably cut Garrick. Could probably cut the Dismember and leave the Garrick. Could get behind that, maybe. So, just a couple more ramp things, and we're probably good. Like, Wall of Roots is a good one. Batter Skull is pretty good. I think I need the Wall of Roots. It's a nice blocker. It's a nice sack fodder, eventually. Uh oh, Mind Twist is in here? Yeah. Guess we gotta take the Mind Twist... It's a little too good to pass. Empty your opponent's hand. And we, like off of a Rafelos, I could see that being. Turn three, play a Swamp. Mind Twist for four. Could be pretty good. Kind of want that Wall of Roots, I'm not going to lie. But I guess we'll take Mind Twist. Uh, Woodland Cemetery fixes us. Nature's Claim is excellent removal, actually. Even main deck. Kind of want the Cemetery, though. Although it's not a forest for a fellows, and I can't search it up. I don't know. I think I still want it. Uh, Overgrown Tomb seems good. Living Death. Chromox. Well, Chromox might be what I'm looking for. Ramps. I do need some more ramp. I think I gotta take the Chromox over the Overgrown Tomb. I'd like to ramp. Still need to figure out what I'm cutting. I might not need the unburial rights. It's a cool. It's cool. It's cool with uh, nightmare, and it's cool with fauna shaman. But I may just want fatties instead. I still like primal command too. By the way, I'm gonna take the chromox here. Yeah, we'll take that. Ooze seems good against us. Rupt decay is actually pretty good in this format with all the signets that are highly played, and like mana vault and. Nasty stuff like that. I could take Abrupt Decay, but I actually don't need removal. I kind of just want to focus on good creature synergies. Ooze is going to be good against us, I guess. Probably want the Abrupt Decay, though, especially for Time Vault. I think I sideboard Abrupt Decay at the very least. I take it. Una's Prowler is yet another way to get these guys online for Nightmare, but doesn't seem worth it in this deck. Master is, you know, it's a fine card. It's a little bit slow. It's not amazing. If I take the Prowler, the Unburial Rites and Recurring Nightmare definitely get better. But what are all of our... I kind of want to try this Pattern of Rebirth thing, to be honest focus on that like I'm not maybe I just hate the tendrils stop the storm deck Gideon's very good obviously like I'm not gonna play master I don't think guess I'll stop the storm deck 
already passed the brain freeze, though. All right, I think I need this Elvish Mystic. I like the fixing. I like Garrick, but I want more ramp. I think we need more ramp. And more sack fodder. And more... All, like, all these ramp creatures are just excellent in our deck because of Fauna Shaman and Recurring Nightmare, so... And Pattern. Let's take Elvish Mystic. I can get behind that. Llanowar Elves. It's also Tooth and Nail now. I don't think I can get to 9 mana super easily. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've really only got 5 ways to ramp. I guess 6 if you count that. 7 maybe. But I think we take the Elves here. I, I want to... I need some more ramp. And, and they're going to make the Mind Twist much better too, I think. Beast Within as a catch-all. Yeah, I guess it's okay as a sideboard card maybe. Oh, we got the Wall of Roots back. That's amazing. All right. Taking and playing Wall of Roots. We don't have any card draw on this deck. I'm trying to think what that means. If we don't have any card draw, do we want to do 16 lands? I may. I may do 16 lands with the Chrome Mox now especially. Yeah, I think we are. So I should probably make three cuts. I think Garrick's going to get the axe because it doesn't exactly synergize well with what we're trying to do. Uh, I guess Banisher Priest could be annoying against us. How good is Shieldred? I mean, she's pretty good. Uh, I think we'll hate the Jackal Pup just for the red deck wins. Kargan, after I got wrecked by that, I don't want to play against that again. All right. So our deck's not terrible. That's one upside. And G Day still actually looks pretty good with all these creatures. Let's see. What are we cutting? I still like the Primal Command because it finds us everything or anything that's important. Definitely keeping Crucible and Life from the Loam because we've got the Strip Mine. Um, hmm. You know, even dredging and eventually eternal witnessing something back is pretty good. I could ditch Polycranos. I have no actual issues with Polycranos. It's just compared to, like, our better creatures, he's a little bit underwhelming. I still kind of like the Avmai Elder because of Pattern of Rebirth, but I could see him getting the axe, too. If you think about it, we've got... Sakura Tribe Elder as something that can just kill itself at will, which is really good with Pattern. And Deranged Hermit, which actually, if you don't pay the Echo, I guess that's a lot of mana. That's nine mana. Yeah, doesn't work as well. But Pattern with Recurring Nightmare is just really good. So I need to make two more cuts. I guess Polycranos probably gets the X. It's a fine card. It's just not exactly what I'm looking for. How good's Behemoth in here? We have enough of these guys where I think Behemoth's pretty awesome. So I need to make one more cut. I could, I guess I could cut Primal Command. I've got Fauna Shaman, which already finds me creatures. I guess I have to ditch a creature to do it, but I don't know. I feel like everything else is pretty good. I could cut the Oracle, I guess, or Solemn, one or the other. I'm trying to think which one's better. Solemn's better with Recurring Nightmare. Oracle's just better in general. I could also leave Oracle and cut Yavmai Elder, but once again, I like the Elder pattern combo. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Hmm. I think I'm cutting command. As much as I like command. Ugh. I can't decide. I'm back to Oracle and Solemn. I'm going to cut Oracle. As much as I love a good Oracle of Moldiah, I think I'd rather have this. 
All right. So fixing. Got a woodland cemetery, which I'll play, and then we're playing strip mine. Sort by color. Very few black spells in the deck, so we don't need many black resources, especially not when we're running Solomon, Sakura Tribe Elder. So for three spells, I probably run... This would be five. And, yeah, my Elder can find it too. Yeah, I think that's more than enough black. And then we have 11 green sources, which I would hope is enough. All right. So we're going to run it like this. I don't know how good this deck is. I, I hope it's good. I guess we'll find out. Um, so we'll have to see how we do. I'll see you round one.